Okay, let's go ahead and figure out the solution to this nice little algebra word problem here. And of course, the first step in solving any problem in mathematics is to read the problem. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It says a 2,700 square foot home is three times longer than its width. What is the perimeter of the home? Okay, so if you think you can solve this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm actually gonna show you the correct answer in just one moment, and then I'm gonna walk through the solution step by step. But I will give you one hint here, and I kinda uh, did that in the beginning of this video. I said this is an algebra word problem, so you're gonna need to use a little bit of algebra to solve this problem, but I don't wanna tell you too much more because I wanna give you a full opportunity to solve this all on your own. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades. It really is my true passion to help as many people as I possibly can learn mathematics. I'm gonna tell you right now, all of you could be successful in math, and I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time with mathematics. Please do not give up hope. There is um, a lot of reasons to be, uh, you know, excited about your future if you listen to my message and you take this to heart. So here are the three things you need in order to be successful in math. The first is you got to be willing to work hard. Okay, you need a strong work ethic. There are no shortcuts. There are no easy way out. So if you're looking for, you know, to kind of escape doing the work to learn math, just stop looking. Be willing to put in the effort. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing you need is some uh, is encouragement. Right, you need someone like myself saying, hey. Don't give up. Now, don't say, oh, I'm a bad math student. I'm going to drop out uh, and I'm not going to just, you know, finish this course. Please do not give up. OK, so you need someone to kind of, you know, motivate you to, um, to keep going when the times get tough. But here's the third most important thing you need uh, in order to be successful in math. You need great math instruction. OK, in other words, you need to learn from someone or something that you actually understand. Nothing is more frustrating than, you know, sitting down trying to learn math or being in a classroom learning math and being totally confused the entire time. You will not be successful. Okay? And I'm not trying to knock any math teachers or anyone out there, but if you are in a situation where you don't understand what's going uh, going on, well, you got to change that. Okay? Because math is a technical subject and it can be taught in a very technical way, sometimes too technical. Okay? The way I like to teach math is to explain things in easy to under understand language so everyone can get what's going on without watering down what you need to know. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're studying for that has math on it, and there's a lot of them out there, things like the ASVAB, GED, SAT, uh, teacher certification exams, things like that, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave my uh, links to my math notes in the description as well. You absolutely need a pair of comprehensive math notes uh, to be successful in math. Okay, now you should be taking your own notes, but most students take so so notes. Okay, so start improving your notes, it's really important. But in the meantime, you can use my notes if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that will definitely help me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. So there's the problem. Uh, if you want to pause the video and work on it just for a, a moment or two, because I'm going to show you the answer right now. But here it is. We want to know the perimeter of the home and the perimeter is 240 feet. OK, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate with uh, giving you a nice little happy face and a plus a 100 percent and multiple stars so you can share with your friends and family that you solved an algebra word problem today. Okay, so nice job. But uh, let's go ahead and get to the actual solution. And the actual solution to this problem depends upon a couple things, okay? One, you need to understand the words in the problem. So the first three, step, three steps in solving any word problems is uh, any word problems in math whether it be algebra or just regular math, doesn't make a difference. You need to read the problem at least three times, okay? If you read the problem one time, that's not enough. There's just too much information going on. So read the problem once, reread the problem again to really kind of get in more information of the problem. And then the last thing you need to do is read the problem and really make sure you understand the question. And the way we know the question anything is to look for the question mark here. And the question mark is saying, 
what is the perimeter of this home? Okay, so we have this 27 uh, square foot home. Okay, now what does square feet indicate to you, right? Well, this is the area, okay? This is the area of this home. And really this problem, uh, I kind of wrote it a little bit more precise. I try to make these problems kind of short, but this really is a rectangular home. I, as a matter of fact, I'll put that uh, into the title or in the description of this video, but we're talking about a rectangular home. So I apologize if I didn't make that clear, but that's what we're talking about here. So it's 20, uh, uh, a 27 foot um, rectangular, a, 20, a 27 square, 2700 square foot rectangular home. Excuse me, I finally got it out, but there you go, is three times longer than its width. Okay, so what is the perimeter? So you need to know what the perimeter means as well. So we're, let's go ahead and take the next step. And uh, before we talk about the perimeter, what we want to do is visualize the problem. Okay, so anytime you're trying to solve uh, an algebra word problem, come up with some sort of model. Oftentimes you can make a little drawing or sketch of the situation, and this is a perfect example where we can go ahead and make a nice little sketch. So here is our rectangular home, okay? And we know the um, it's longer, okay? Its length is three times longer than its width, okay? So the home is three times longer, i.e. the length is three times its width, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, establish some variables for this problem. So let's set X represent the width of the home. So the length of the home will be three times whatever this is, okay? So what's three times X? Well, that would just be three X, right? So this would be the length of this rectangular home and the width would simply be X. Okay, so that's uh, one thing you need to do is, is to establish a model. And then the second thing you need is uh, a realization that we are dealing with area here. Okay, square foot is a unit of measure for area. So we need to know the area of a rectangle and area of a rectangle is length times width. Okay, so here's the length, here's the width, that would give us the area. So in this particular uh, uh, sketch here, right? The the area would be x times 3x. Of course, this represents this rectangular home, but we know that the area is equal to 2,700 square feet. Okay, so there's that information right there. So let's go ahead and write an equation because once we have variables um, kind of uh, set up to represent what's going on in the problem, we need a way to solve for what those variables are, okay? i.e. we need an equation, all right? So the length times the width here, that would be x or 3x times x, that would be the area is going to be equal to 2,700 square feet. So we have this equation right here, 3x squared is equal to 2,700. So let's go ahead and solve for x. So the first thing we need to do here is divide both sides of the equation by 3, and we get x squared is equal to 900. Now to solve this quadratic equation, we're going to go ahead and take the square root of both sides. Technically, the answer here is going to be x is equal to positive or negative 30, but because we are dealing with distance, we're talking about the uh, measurements of a home, we can throw out that negative 30 and just keep that positive 30 as our answer. So x is equal to 30, but what does that represent? Well, x equal to 30, remember we let x represent the width of the home. So the width is going to be 30, and the length is going to be 3 times whatever that width was. So that would be 3 times 30, which of course is 90. All right, so now we have the dimensions of this home, this rectangular home. Now we need to bring in this final part, okay? We, uh, the question's asking for the perimeter. So what is the perimeter? Well, the perimeter is a total uh, length around a figure. So in other words, if I take this, uh, this side and add it to this side and add it to this side and add it to this side, that is the perimeter. So let's go ahead and find that now. That'll be 90 right here. Then I got a 30 right there. This side, we are talking about a rectangle. Okay, this would be 90 right there. And then this side right here will be another 30. And when I do all this lovely number crunching, you'll end up with 240. Okay, but remember, you want to be very precise with your units of measure because the area of this um, home, we're talking about square feet. Okay, when we found the dimensions, these are feet, right? This is 90 feet, this is 30 feet. So the perimeter is a, uh, its unit of measure will be in feet. So make sure you put that in because some 
mean math teachers might take a couple points off your final problem. In other words, if you gave your answer as 240, eh, probably most math teachers will give you like, let's say a 10 out of 10 for that problem. But sometimes, you know, you can run across um, problems where if you don't put in that unit of measure, and this is part of the answer, you know, you can get yourself in trouble. So make sure you put in feet as well. Okay, so this is a pretty standard, um, you know, medium level algebra word problem, certainly like at the algebra one level, you know, when they kind of like think of like, let's say hot sauce or salsa, you have, you know, the, the mild and then you have like the medium and then you got the super hot. This would be like a medium level problem or maybe even mild, not that difficult. So if you did this problem and you're like, oh, this is easy. I can do all algebra word problems. Well, not so fast. You want to challenge yourself obviously with more difficult problems, but if you want to get pro uh, better at any word problems, you have to practice, okay? And word problems are at all levels of mathematics. So if you're in pre-algebra, you can check out my pre-algebra course. If you're in algebra two, you can check out my algebra two course. If you're in pre-calculus, you can check out my pre-calculus course. You will find word problems throughout all courses in mathematics. Okay, so hopefully this little video helps you out. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.